Hey, it's Randy at Funeral Funds of America. In this video, I'm going to show you the actual pricing for $25,000 worth of burial, cremation, final expense, life insurance, or funeral funds for a 53-year-old male. Now, first thing I suggest is go directly to our website. We've got these quarters on just about every page, and you select the state that you live in. We are licensed in all 50 states, by the way, and the coverage amount. Put your birthday in there, click Get Quotes, it will take you a tape to a page that's going to have the best insurance companies with the lowest pricing. And what that will help you do is avoid those companies that you see advertising on television and magazines and stuff that have a like a really low rate, a teaser rate. And then when you call them up, it's never hardly any amount of coverage and they try upselling you to buy more coverage. It will also help you avoid those plans that have two year waiting periods that could be 200% more expensive than first day coverage. So. Really, the first thing you need to consider as a male age 53 looking for $25,000 worth of insurance is, is that going to be an appropriate amount of coverage for your final expense needs? Now, final expense would typically be either cremation or burial. So the average cost of a cremation right now in the United States is between one to $2,000. Now, if you're going to cre get cremated and have some sort of a ceremony, that'd be, be between $3,500 and $4,500 on average. So what we would typically recommend coverage-wise is for that cremation where you come home in a cardboard box and earn maybe $5,000 to $7,000. Now, I know you're thinking, well, that's more than the $2,000. But yeah, you're, you're right. You're 53 years old. You're probably hoping you'll make it to 63, maybe 73, maybe 83. And we know that uh, things go up in price over time, including cremations. So by getting a little bit more coverage, we're actually inflation proofing your plan. And then God forbid, if you died sooner than you thought, there's some extra money left in there to take care of miscellaneous expenses or final expenses or medical bills or something like that. So if you are going to have the burial with the ceremony, we'd typically recommend somewhere between 7,000 to 10,000. Again, for the same reason that we were talking about getting a little more than you actually needed for the first type of cremation. Now, if you're going to get buried, the actual cost of a burial right now in the United States is right around $10,000. And if you walk into pretty much any funeral home in America with the $10,000 check, they will get things done for you. But uh, I can guarantee you one thing. It's not going to be fancy because that's, you know, that's, that's kind of the bare minimum what they cost. But it's hard to imagine they would say, nope, we're not going to take your money and let you walk out the door and walk down to one of their, their competitors just two blocks down the road and give them that money. So one thing we always recommend right off the bat is getting first day coverage or benefits. And even with that, you know, we don't recommend like going crazy on the insurance. So a lot of times people will say, you know, I want 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 because they want to leave money for kids or family members. And uh, most of the people we help are on a fixed or limited income. So we typically recommend getting just enough to cover your needs, whatever that is. If you've got extra money available, yeah, you can look at larger insurance amounts. But, uh, you know, just really get a policy in place right off the bat. If you need to get something smaller to afford it, do that. We can always help you add more coverage. But with first day coverage or benefits, what that means is that hypothetically, if your policy started today, and you died tomorrow, then the insurance company would pay out $25,000 or $10,000 or $15,000, whatever the coverage, coverage amount is. And we don't recommend the two-year waiting period plans because they've got two-year waiting periods. We'll go over that in just a moment. But yeah, first aid coverage is really important. A lot of people would say, hey, I like the first aid coverage, but I'm not in the best of health. And I know those first aid coverage plans ask health questions. So what should I do? And to that, we say, hey, well, your health problems are our concern, not yours, at least when it comes to this insurance. So that's why we work with a number of different insurance companies. And all the different insurance companies all have different health questions and they all have different underwriting. And right now we are getting about 90 to 95 percent of the people we help approve with first day coverage or benefits. Now, the only reason we wouldn't be able to get you qualified for first day coverage or benefits is if you had some really significant health issues, like maybe you had a terminal illness and you're going to pass away in the next 12 months, or you had dementia or you're on dialysis or in a hospital or in a nursing home, 
If that were the case, we'd probably refer you out to a different insurance company. Also, it seems like every week somebody reaches out to us and they say, hey, uh, we had a family member pass away this last week and they didn't have insurance and we don't have any money. So uh, now the body's down at the funeral home and the funeral home director is not going to do anything until we get a check in his hand. So we need to get this insurance really quick and that way we can get the funeral home director paid off. And we have to let them know that there is no insurance company in the United States that's going to approve a policy on a dead person. You actually have to be alive to qualify for this insurance. And it's really sad that uh, somebody passed away. They knew they were going to die someday. They probably thought about getting this insurance and they just never did. And then, you know, something bad happened. But what a terrible legacy to leave behind because most of the time when family has to pay for this, when they're unprepared, it goes on a credit card, like a 26% interest rate. And they would be paying on this for years. And it's just, uh, it's difficult on families. And it's not a great legacy to leave behind where every time your name comes up, everybody's going to go, yeah, didn't take care of this. We're still paying on it. Really disappointed. So don't be that person. This insurance is affordable. And uh, if need be, we can always start at a smaller amount and get more coverage later. Now, one thing we don't recommend is the plans with two-year waiting periods. And Colonial Pen is probably one of their more recognizable, I guess, companies. That might be a good description. I think it's just because they advertise on TV all the time for their 995 plan. And that 995 plan is a two-year waiting period. Ha <laughs> ha, plan. Yeah, you didn't know that, did you? So there's other companies out there that have two-year waiting periods as well, like Mutual of Omaha, their United of Omaha product, AIG Gerber, and boy, just a whole bunch of other insurance companies out there. And uh, some of these companies have done a really great job of convincing the American public that the only thing that you'll qualify for once you're beyond age 50 is a two-year waiting period plan, to which we say, <laughs> don't believe such nonsense. We help people with first-day coverage all day long. Yeah, so two-year waiting period, again, it means that they're not going to pay out any death benefit in the first two years if you die of any health or medical reason, and they're typically much more expensive. So one thing that we, we see a lot of is, you know, male age 53, probably watching one of those 995 commercials. And, you know, man thinks, man, I'm 53 years old. I'm in a good situation here. I am probably going to get 20000 30000 40000 maybe even $50,000 worth of insurance for $9.95. And then um, then they call Colonial Pen and talk with an agent or they go online and look at their website like we've done for you. And they find out that for a 53-year-old male, one unit, which is $9.95, is only going to pay out $1,515. Now, that's enough for a cremation in most parts of the country. Um, but you got to remember, it's not going to pay out in the first two years because it's got a waiting period for any health or medical related cause of death. So, yeah, and uh, they, they tend to be very expensive. So, you know, there's a lot of people would say that companies that offer like low teaser rates kind of do it with one thing in mind, not to sell you that plan, but to upsell you into more meaningful coverage instead of a pittance of the coverage that you probably need. Now, we're not saying that's the way Colonial Pen does it. But um, maybe you could be the better judge on that for yourself. Use your, uh, use your logic there. But let's take a look. We're looking at 25,000. The challenge with Colonial Pen is they only do 15 units and or up to 15 units. So when we look at this, 15 units is going to be roughly $150 and it's going to get 22,725. So you can't even get $25,000 through Colonial Pen if you're a 53-year-old male. Is that a good deal? Um, let's go find out. Let's look at some first aid coverage here. So here we go. $25,000 for a male, age 53. Get quotes. Again, we're looking at right around $22,000 for $150. And look at this, $71. So, And again, this is for $25,000. So... Yeah, I mean, Colonial Pen, in this case, is more than 200% higher. <laughs> Why would you ever sign up for a plan that is 200% higher 
from the very first day and it's going to cost you more money every single month for the rest of your life. And you're going to get socked with a two-year waiting period. Why would you do such nonsense? We don't recommend it at all. So, but I mean, if you take a look at this, roughly $70 and roughly $150. So that's going to be $80 difference per month. So that's going to be right around $960 more a year. And then after 10 years, when our 53 year old male is now 63, it's going to be, you will have roughly overpaid right around $9,600 with Colonial Pen versus going with a company that offers first day coverage. So that's, um, man, that's a lot of money, almost 10 grand on a $25,000 policy. You will overpay by going with the two year waiting period through Colonial Pen 995. Why would you do such nonsense? Let's look at some other companies here. So we're about $70 roughly. Let's see. And you'll be able to see all the different insurance companies. Well, here's one, um, Lumico. So they're about $30 more. It is first day coverage, but $30 more, that would be around $360 a year more. After 10 years, you would overpay $3,600. And uh, why would you do that? If you live 20 years, you'd overpay 7400 Yeah, it's just, uh, why overpay? You know, you lock in your savings uh, by getting a, pre a lower premium right up front. Let's look at another company here. Oh, like Lincoln Heritage here. So uh, they're a fine company, I guess. But I mean, look at that pricing. $112? Yikes. Uh, it is level coverage. But yeah, the reason their pricing is higher is they've got a deal where when you pass away, they will supposedly check two or three different funeral homes to get the lowest pricing, maybe do a couple of other things. But it's not a free service. No, you got to pay for it. You pay in higher premiums. So that's $112 versus 72 basically that's right around 40 dollars more a month so after 12 months that's an extra 480 dollars a year and after 10 years that'd be roughly four thousand eight hundred dollars you would be over paying by going with lincoln heritage and uh, a lot of people would say hey that's a pretty good payday for the insurance company when all they have to do is like you know, make two or three phone calls to funeral homes, maybe do a couple other things that might only take an hour or so to do. And it's going to cost you, boy, almost $5,000 more. Yikes. So we don't recommend that at all. And in, in, in fact, to help you out with that, we recommend you getting the lower, lower premium pricing. And then we have a free funeral and estate planning guide. We provide free of charge on our website. You can download it and print it out. And then on when you're filling that out, you just say who gets what and what goes where and what you want to happen after you're gone. And it's super easy and you can change it at any time and it's totally free. And then when you're done with it, you keep it with your insurance policy. And that way, when you pass away, your family members go and grab everything and they will not only be protected financially with the insurance policy, but emotionally when you have everything listed out and they don't have to even think, they just have to execute your final wishes and you provided money to take care of that. And what a wonderful gift to leave behind. What a wonderful legacy of love. And they will know that you not only cared about them in life, but in death also when, you, when, when they would need you more than ever, once you're passed away, you would have everything taken care of. What a wonderful gift. What a wonderful legacy. So, Go to funeralfunds.com. We've actually got a, a free quarter for our YouTube visitors, funeralfunds.com forward slash YouTube. And you can log on there and get all the best pricing and find all the best companies. You can also call us at 888-862-9456 and talk with one of our agents. But whether you have an existing policy and you want to price shop it to make sure you got the best deal or just add coverage to it. We can help you out with that. If you are looking for a brand new policy or just have some questions about what you might look for or want or any other thing like that, we can help you out with that. But we look forward to the day when we can get you the most amount of coverage for the least amount of money. And it will be a pleasure chatting with you at some point in the future. Until that day comes, you stay safe, you take care, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.